So the risk of my talk this morning is I'm trying to bring sexy back to motivation. So I've heard that they've said motivational speakers are cuck. I'm changing that this morning. So what does the future and your success look like? I mean, what is it? You know, oftentimes the things that are holding you back are, uh, well, you. <laughs> you know, it was Honoré de Balzac who said, when you doubt your power, you give power to your doubt. You know that little voice in your head that says, well, you can't do it. You will not amount to anything. You're going to fail. That same voice taunts you every time you set up a goal. It, it criticizes you when life gets difficult. It beats you down when you try to stand up against its running commentary. But you can prevail over this voice. How do you do that? Well, you do that by learning how to get out of your way. You know, one of the ways you can do that is actually through attentive thinking. Attentive thinking, just think about it. Every single day in your mind, the thoughts that you have, the thoughts, the feelings, every sensation, everything that you are aware of is actually only happening in your own private internal world. Your thoughts only exist in your mind and nobody else can hear them. Let's be honest. We live in a physical world here on earth and yet there are billions of eternal worlds around even in this audience. We seem to be in separate theaters witnessing different shows and yet we behave as if we are the same audience watching the very same event we call life. So why is it important to contemplate this truth? Well, to meditate on this is liberating because it, it implies that what we are living personally in our heads is not real. We are aware of our thoughts, so maybe in that sense they're kind of real, but our thoughts cannot exist outside of our awareness. I certainly have not come across a thought walking by. <laughs> At least your thought walking by. But you see, what brings a thought to life is the attention that you give to it. Every minute of every day, our bodies are, are physically reacting, literally changing in response to the thoughts that are running through our minds. And so it is our thoughts that are powerful, that improve our vision, our fitness, and our strength. And so it's important that we pay a lot of attention to how we think, because that will galvanize and really help us improve our goals and our ambitions and our aspirations. The second thing around this idea of getting out of your way is this concept, stick to itiveness, pertinacity, hey? persistence, that resolute tenacity. You know, Winston, Ch Winston Churchill said, success is the ability to move from failure to failure without losing enthusiasm. Isn't that a powerful thing? Hey, one of the greatest values of the most successful people today is pertinacity. Stick to itiveness. Of course, I'm not suggesting that life will be easy. One of the things about stick to itiveness is that it comes with a companion of optimism. You've got to be optimistic about the future. So stick to itiveness is not about taking the easy road. It's about doing all those difficult things where the evidence says you've got to quit. That balanced optimism that says, you know what, I'm going to do this and pursue it because this is part of my goal. And that's so important. I take us back to a time, 1519, when Hernan Cortes, he landed in this vast country, Mexico, with 600 Spaniards, 16 horses, and 11 boats. But with 600 men, he realized that he had to change his tactic. Instead of rushing into the city and attacking and getting his men to fire up, he decided, hold on, let's stay on the beach. And he woke the souls of his men with melodious cadences in the form of emblazoned speeches. These orations bore truth to their men because what was supposed to be a, a war turned out to be an extravagant romance in the imaginations of his troops. But it was going to be three words that he would say that would change the course of history. And those words were, burn the boats. You see, when you, when you have a plan A and you kind of have a plan B, you have an exit strategy. Sometimes it doesn't work. And so it's important that you and I have to understand that when we commit to our goals, when we commit to our strategies, it doesn't matter whether it's personal or business. The idea of stick to itiveness, this persistence and pertinacity, is what's going to help you drive and move towards your goals more closer. 